Hello everybody, we're here for the November 2nd Saturday. Thank you all for joining us in this wonderful space. Uh, we're going to start up in the front gallery. This show is The Art of the Decoy, and there's selections from Warren Saunders and his decoy carving class. Warren Saunders is a master decoy carver. And this is part of our Dorchester County Heritage Arts. Here are a few of Warren Saunders decoys. And these decoys are complemented by one of DCA's founding members, uh, Robert Tolley. And this is a full view of the front gallery. And as we work our way down the hallway, we enter into our second gallery show. This is the Wednesday Morning Artists and Friends Gallery of Gifts. The Start of the show is Sue Lester's uh, Fantasy Feathers collection. And these works feature multimedia uh, painting and then feathers to give a three-dimensional effect. You can see this represented here on the bird. As we continue down the hallway, we have a multitude of artists. We're going to start here with photography by Jill Jasuda. These are photographs printed on uh, wood. And underneath Jill Jasuda's photography is works by Carol Fire Robin. These are action cards. And I'm just going to show you a selection of one. So you pop them up and they're three dimensional. And there are multiple designs. <coughs> And as we continue down the hall, we have work by Shelby Clendaniel 
and Stephanie Heen. Shelby Clendaniel uh, depicts Dorchester locations in pencil and pen. There are note cards and prints available. And Stephanie Keen has um, acrylic pours and we have Christmas ornaments. And a whole selection of acrylic pour wall art. And a variant of color schemes and sizes. As we approach the next section of our uh, Wednesday Morning Artists and Friends Gallery of Gifts, we have work by Paul Winters. There are ornaments and little glass selections. And that is complemented by fiber work by Patricia Decker. And also work by myself. <laughs> Talk about your work. Oh, um, I have a selection of woven goods and purses and things. And then the next selection of work, we have two artists. We have Maggie Sarfati, who has felted ornaments. And then we have these driftwood sailboats. And then the next artist we actually have here with us tonight, which is Lisa. Please tell us a bit about your work that you have here Hi. and yourself. I'm Lisa Scarbath, a mosaic artist. I live in Ellicott City, but I also have a house here in Cambridge, so near and dear to my heart. And I do mosaics in many different forms. Um, Katie's showing you my steampunk and embellished crabs and other creatures. And I also do custom pet portraits. Um, I do wall art with uh, multimedia from broken dishes and tile to found objects and shells and then i also create um, furniture or mosaic furniture i don't actually make the furniture <laughs> wonderful thank you for sharing about your work and your process thank you thank you for inviting me to be here yes. Yes. And then our next selection of work is by Joyce Fritz Ritz, uh, Soli Joyce Jewelry. Uh, it's, oh, no. it's up to you. Oh, okay. Easier probably because I won't mumble. But, um, hi there. So yes, I'm Joyce. And um, many of you know me from the work that I do in the sculptural uh, jewelry here on the table. And um, this year I needed a little bit more happy in my life, and so I just spent a little money and started painting things. But started out with painting um, pumpkins for Halloween and branched into crazy Christmas next to me. But um, on the table are um, a few pieces from plume collections that I've started. This whole um, section, these are this is all inspired by Dr. Seuss. So this pair of earrings is from um, the book Oh the Places Will Go, and right next to it the one fish, two fish, red fish, fish, blue fish. Um, and they all have a story behind them. And so um, I just like work that's sculptural and whimsical and colorful, as you can see. 
And so, and, um, and then so there's, you know, there's angels. A lot of people like these pieces as, um, you know, remembrances of someone special in their life, or people that just, you know, love to have angels with around them. And uh, yeah, so that's this is my jewelry work. All of the pieces on the that you see painted are also for sale. So all, um, you know, all decorative items. Um, and then uh, um, the table. Um, next to you is all uh, ornaments. These are paper mache, pink paper mache with uh, marabou and, um, and wooden candlesticks. And there's some collaborative pieces here with my soul sister, Alyssa Crouch. So, um, you know, we did do some of this work together. But um, all decorative pieces, boxes that are functional. But, um, yeah. Anyway, just, just a little bit of happy for you for the holidays. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you for explaining your work and showing us around. As we continue down the hall, we have selections of 100 Chop Tanks by John Lewis. These are four images from his series. There are prints available of these particular images. We also have work by Todd. And we have three images in acrylic here. And there is also a fourth image right over here. Sorry for that interruption, folks. And then we have some photographs by Ned Egan. And some watercolor works by Willa. And we have photographs by Janice. And then we have a selection of oil paintings by Kathy. And then we have ham woven baskets and sculptures by Heidi Wetzel. And then we also have Woven Sculptures by Joe Ebling. And then as we move on to this section of the gallery, we have both bookmarks that are sculpted and hand-painted wine glasses by Janelle Willie.
Here are the bookmarks. And then we also have Work by Terry White. Here's some of her jewelry. And then we now come to the work by Lisa Heaton. And then we have some handmade soaps by Jennifer. And then our last artist of the night is Mara Manley with some sculptural work and two mugs. I want to thank you for joining us tonight in our November 2nd Saturday Live. And I want to encourage you to stop by both exhibitions they are extremely unique and wonderful to view.